Those close with Oswald say they are relieved to have more answers, but are still devastated by the loss of their friend. New at 10 tonight, one of Oswald's friends and colleagues speaks with News 10's Heather Good about the DNA results and what they hope will happen now. From the beginning, Alice Anita Oswald has been described as a fierce advocate for animals, a small but mighty voice for needy pets. Her friends say she did not deserve what she got. My heart just broke. I mean, now we know. Jerry Laubert is one of a few people who knew Alice Anita Oswald well. She said I'd much rather be around animals than people. Laubert says her friendship with Oswald spanned three decades, but grew stronger when she started volunteering at Oswald's pet rescue, Harmony Haven. Oswald's car, with her body inside, was pulled from beneath the ice earlier this year. It breaks my heart uh, knowing that somebody did this to uh, a 77-year-old woman that all she did was care about animals. The positive ID of Oswald's body is devastating, but Laubert says there is some closure now. Okay, now we, we know it's her. Let's find who did it and uh, let's get this, you know, get this case moving. I hope they have a ton of evidence on this person and I want to sit in the courtroom while they're being tried. Laubert says she's left now with only memories. I hope she's not forgotten. I hope she can rest in peace knowing that the ones that the, the animals that she cared for are being taken care of, loved, uh, pampered. Um, I think that that helps get through this. She didn't deserve her ending. Laubert says she will be following developments in this case closely. She says Oswald was a fighter and she thinks she fought to the end. A murder